Hello everyone and welcome back. Let's play Dragon Quest XI with me, Get Daved. Off camera, I got in one generic fight and two characters tranced, so let's just... Oh, maybe I should have had more hit points at the start of this. Let's just see what we can do, shall we? Alright, everyone, follow orders. We need to kill him with a certain pet power. So we're gonna lower his defense. I'm not sure what's gonna make her freak out. I really don't want to lose the pep. I feel like waking him up might help. Oh great. Okay, we're we're set up. Okay. <laughs> This is exactly what I wanted to have happen. Oh. oh, yeah, that's just perfect. Okay, he's into the red zone. We need to actually kill it with this attack. I've never used it before, so I don't know if it's any good. All right, let's try it. What do we got? Go get him, big guy. So is it just like a wild side attack? Oh, great. Great work, Eric. Well, I will heal myself. Did that count is what I want to know. Well, we were originally going to go for Veronica. All right, we're back, and... <laughs> you can sense the glorious intensity. Yeah, it was a little eh. Furry finery. Ooh, the fur poncho. Actually, the fur hood is not bad, and lots of people can use it in most games. I, I don't know if it tells us what the recipes are going to be. Uh, fun size forge. Oh my goodness. All right, we only need Magic Beast Hide, and I assume that's also the same for... Cool. We don't have Fine Fur. Well, it was fun while it lasted. Let's grab a horse properly and get out of here. I know I've said I've been enjoying the game a lot, but I also am really enjoying the fact that it's opened up a bit now. Like, at first it felt a little hand-holdy. I would say the game sort of picks up at two points. It's very tutorial and, like, familiarizing yourself. It's been 14 years, so to a certain extent that's justified. But it picks up a bit once Eric joins your, part or your party properly. And then... Um, when you go through, or when you go back to Cobblestone. Hello. 
Akim and Akia. All right. Yeah, that seems easy. Hmm, I wonder what the... All right, Northwest Gondolia. I wonder what the contents are. Laguna de Gondolia. Yes. All right, cool stuff. New monsters, everyone. Maybe we'll have another party wipe. That would be fun. <laughs> forgot to do the thing. We're just gonna do a quick backtrack. <laughs> All right, I actually revived Veronica this time. So that's a good thing. Uh, let's... We've only fought one of you, so let's see what we got here. Oh, can they see me? I also, I think this was off camera, but I improved Sylvanda's equipment. We've got Veronica. So she can probably take care of old Krabby herself. I can do good damage against a Flython. Also, fun fact, it might look kind of fiery, but that's actually from the Explosion family of cell spells, so... Good 30 damage. Doesn't seem to use a lot of MP either. Did I do all right? You did very well. Actually, you contributed more than anyone else in that fight. Hmm. All right, and actually, let's go confirm one last thing. Maybe you noticed. Maybe you didn't. We got one more set of crosshairs. Probably some treasure I didn't see around the corner. All right, question one. Can we shoot it from a horse? All right, well. <laughs> I don't know what the significance of those is going to be. But we're just going to keep tagging them as we go, I guess? For lack of an alternative. Alright, not much beyond the campsite. Sure. All right, I'll try to remember that. I'm not gonna remember that. Uh, we're a little worn out, but oh, fine. We're all at like half strength. Uh, well, let's go. Let's go try one of those new pieces of equipment. By which I mean the one I can. Oh, we need two. That's too bad, it's really good. Well, maybe there's a roving emporium? Do you sell fine furs? Good sir. That's okay, though. We'll have good stuff. Right before we go to a new town. The perfect combination. Alright. 
to the fun-sized forge. So yeah, I expect a fur poncho is not going to sell for more than a thousand, which is how much we're investing in it, but that's fine. Let's do this. Looks good. And now it's going to be a struggle to bash this thing enough. I think we got to half tap it. Well, let's see. Yeah, this is a half tap. Turn out pretty well, but we can, I think, do better. Took all of our strength and all of our efficiency for maybe a plus two. All right, I'll take it. Uh, yeah, you can have the... Well, actually, no one else can use the bronze armor, though. I don't love that the hero actually has the second lowest defense of everyone. Aww. Yeah, you get the fur poncho. I guess I've kind of decided that because several of the other characters have... You know, shields. Well, one. One other character has a shield. I guess it's my fault. Yeah, I'm sure he's a prince. I'm reading a book. Look how cozy it's getting. We're all gathered around, and Eric's not even loafing off by himself. Oh, I got used to it. All right, we're gonna rest until night. Maybe there'll be new monsters. I don't think we saw a lot of the nighttime desert, so this will be good. Oh, all right, I know you. Restless armor. Let's dance. That is really not what I wanted you to do. Um, these guys are fairly tough, I always think. Usually you got around 60 some hit points and pretty good overall stats. Yeah, a little bit more than 60, it looks like. There we go. Wonderful. Well, he's got 10 skill points. So I'm not sure, can I no longer... Now that I'm in crossbow mode? I won't no longer do the thing. Mm. No, we'll just attack. I guess I could assist. The problem is, like, Zap is quite a big investment. Yeah, fine, we'll do it. So it's kind of got to be worth more than three heals. Might have been. And no horses allowed, because we've got a barrier here. Alright, onward to the maze. Oh, splatterpunks. Alright. Just had to get the distance right. 
kind of wish they'd map the crossbow to a different button. Whoa, look who's tough. Alright, I wonder. Can we one-shot you? Not bad. I got within nine. Boy, he likes that attack. And now for the tank of the group. Oh my goodness, that worked. All right, note to self. Not so good against the ice. Did I do all right? Did very well. No, read the sign. <laughs> oh, these hands. I hate them. All right, so sometimes they call for reinforcements. And then sometimes those ones call for reinforcements. And sometimes it gets out of hand. Well, we're getting really good damage output. Did not know they could do that in this one. They have high crit rate, or they used to have high crit rate, but desperation attacks are worse. Victory! That was a good time. Yay, new spell. Ugh. Getting all the low level ones. Climb the stairs and head towards the lighthouse. I'm gonna go the other way. Do I need a mount to go across the water? Because, I mean, you can see the treasure over there. I don't know how I would get to it. Like I can't go into that water. Well, there we go. What a happy coincidence. No, no, don't do it. <laughs> Get it? It's a horn knight. Thirty-eight damage out of crack is pretty good. Score one for the good guys. Well, I wonder if that's going to be the secret to getting those other treasures then. All right, just the sparkle, I think. It's got a little bit of floatiness to it, which I like. Well, I am keeping this thing as long as I can. Because I'm flying a bee. Celestial scheme. Well, that's what we already had. Didn't have to pay for that one, though. It's not stolen. I just found it on the ground. place. Alright, new metals. Place your bet. Iron. Gold. I think we have four gold ore now. And we have a source of it, so no sense holding on. You gonna tell me the weather? Thanks, cow. I mean, we gotta do a little bit. 
We're at the cusp of a new era of level ups. Weird that the hero got there first, actually. Oh, Veronica got the dancing bug. <laughs> I love her sassy dance. Unfortunately, she's probably got the most important turn. Oh no. Okay, we don't want the the knight to hit him. Heal slime? Yep. I know this drill. Nice! We finally got a block! Oh yeah, sometimes branching a wizard staff is a free casting of Frizz. Looks like it didn't use your magical might stat. Or that guy just had good defense. Yeah, Silvando, you could just attack. I really like how the AI, at least for Veronica, is allocating its spells, though. That's... It's on point. Oh, right or left? We'll go this way. It seems to not make a huge difference. And we're gonna want to check out both eventually anyway. And we're gonna want this this mount, this ride, this Uber. Okay, not a huge problem. So in old Dragon Quest games, I mentioned a little while ago the vitality in the wisdom stat. Eventually with wisdom they tried making it more useful um, by having it factor into some really edge spell cases like spell effects and accuracies and you know, let's do it and then they also used it to push damage towards the high end of the range but I mean that really wasn't that meaningful oh it's a wear tiger yeah they're terrifying and pretty strong often. I mean, they're tigers. Guess what their damage is like. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, I didn't actually think that would do anything. Right, here it comes. Hey, nobody showed up. Good news, everyone. Okay, let's try this again. Sweet. Yeah, just anticipating the HP of the enemy. They do a really good job of rationing their offense, which I like. Anyway, that was the wisdom stat. All this is coming because someone cast decelerate or decelerate on me. Um, agility used to actually contribute to your defense. So it was half of your agility went into your defense power. They've since replaced that with the resilience stat. Uh, it was actually not a bad system because, like, mages who often couldn't use the best armor had, um, you know, usually okay agility and that checked against their terrible defense. Although, in some ways, things got weird. I still don't know what the significance of that's going to be. Uh, it got a little weird because soldiers typically had really low agility, so often they'd have this like really expensive equipment on, and their defense would be lower than a like a mage character. What? I know which way I'm going. Anyway, in some of them, decelerate. Oh, I love iron armor. And accelerate would impact your defense as well. Or in one like the meteorite bracer used to double your agility, but it would like drag your defense with it. That was ridiculous. Suit of iron armor is absolutely my jam. 
the iron armor and the steel broadsword is like the the classic early mid tier gear. <laughs> All right, you got it, guys. Let's briefly check out Gondolia. Color me intrigued. I think there'd at least be a welcoming person here. Place your bets. I think it's gonna look awesome on the other side of this door. It's beautiful! It's a surprisingly long loading screen. Usually when they only do the corner one, it's not as big a deal. Probably getting a cutscene though. Nice. I kind of assumed we'd be in an Italian themed place. Also, because Silvando's got a bit of an Italian accent, I think. Might be Irish. up and down on the waves. It's so just bobbing down. Huh? I heard there were some big scores to be had here. Rich merchants from all over the world, ships full of treasure, you name it. And this is where you're keeping your ship, Silvando. The ship that you own. Don't tell me you're some kind of millionaire. Oh, she likes the, oh, the wealth. Now, Ronnie, darling. You know it's not polite to pry. All right. The docks are in the southwest of the town. Last one there's a rotten egg. He stole the boat. Vegeta? He's about the right height. The famous products. I love them. Buongiorno. All right, our first find. Ooh. You can tell we're getting to a slightly better place because the coin count is up. Well. It's a broader sword. I love it. Not that much better than what I have and insanely expensive for two more damage per attack. Ooh. Okay, that's a little tough to say no to. I wish we could make our own. Well, let's sell off some of our junk. Actually, let's not do it in that order. Okay, some of that was unnecessary, but it's fine. Definitely done with the boomerang. So, I mean... <sighs> this was starting equipment that you can't buy at a shop, so that's what it's like. Hey, it might be hard to get back. It's probably useless, but I'm paranoid that I'm going to get burned. I will sell you all of my feathered caps. Not really using whips. I might switch Silvando to it. Uh, I think we're well, we're definitely done with the Wayfarer's clothes. Uh, not necessarily done with the bronze armor though yeah I 
I mean, I guess I could sell it. I'm kind of holding on to it because I don't know if it might be useful. I think we're going to be holding on to most of these. All right, I will take your steel lance. And there went half the money, so I could make sure my healer doesn't have a shield. Ooh, 10,000? But I could have a cat suit. Probably for Veronica, I'm gonna guess. Hmm. And sells them for a profit. That doesn't work out well for me. I kind of want him to sell them at a loss. Rotondo, hey? Reminds me of... Mr. Bruscoletti from Dragon Quest V, although he's probably not as friendly. Ooh. No. <laughs> I like the 2% discount, though. Great Silvando, nice. There's a lot of money in the circus, I guess? And here I thought it was, uh, not great. Can you believe it? This mean, mean man won't let us into the docks. Why not? It's nothing personal. The docks are off limits for everybody now. It's because of La Competizione. Okay, I'll go win that. Great. So I guess we just have to sit tight till this contest thing is over, huh? See, it wouldn't be an adventure if we didn't. I am sorry, but Senor Universo is molto, molto importante event for people of Gondolia. Sure. Senor Universo, you say? Now that sounds like fun. Tell me more, honey. I'm all ears. Naturalmente. Senor Universo is for men of all ages. The winner, he must be a powerful like the waves, graceful like the breeze, and deep like the sea. I have no idea what this is. The is reason why Gondolia is so filled with the strong and admirable men in this moment. Oh, none of us are really swole. Ooh, I love a little pageantry. Come on, darlings, let's go see what it's all about. Okay. We can sample some local delicacies to get ourselves in the mood. I hear they're to die for. Well, who's with me? Come on, you know you want to. Eh, is Hendrick gonna find me? About whatever silly contest they're having. But I am quite peckish. I'd love to try a few local treats. There we go. Seriously? We're not here on holiday, you know. We're supposed to be looking for the rainbow. Right, Serena? You're hungry too? <laughs> I'm so sorry, but I'm really rather hungry myself, and, well, we can't leave until the contest's over anyway, so... Yeah, they like the fun guy. Sorry, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe this. What? We could go have fun. Hey, listen, we're kind of in a hurry here, and we really need to get to the dock. Do you know who's in charge of this contest? Naturalmente, the person in the charge is Dojo Rotondo. He is in the charge of everything in our town. Okay. His villa is in the northeast part of Gondolia. That's the other end of town. He is so much a kind man. Molto gentile. You heard the man. Let's go ask this doge guy to let us into the docks. All right, step next. And to think, I only came here to smash some barrels. Worth it. Well, not really.
We'll just rage a little bit on some barrels to let out Eric's frustration. Hey! Oh, go for it. <laughs> huh. Yay! All right, you know what? I'm just gonna go save at the church and next time, oh goodness, the 3D-ness strikes again. How am I ever gonna get to the church? I'll figure it out off camera and I'll see you in the next episode. We're gonna have ourselves a great time.